one man and one woman for 21 days. They have no clothes. I didn't really agree. In some of the harshest environments on the planet. Ah! All right, we are on the river. I can do a little bit of everything from shelter to, you know, hunting down food. Okay, so here I am today at my normal haunt, the gym. If you were to characterize me maybe in one way, you could say control freak. So we're gonna rock it today at the gym. I think a guy would survive better out here than a woman. Women would probably be pretty good at hunting down fruits to eat. I haven't done much to prepare for this challenge. Ever since I was a kid, I was in the woods hunting. Pretty confident in myself. Won't bother me. You know, just another day. Living close to the land for much of his life will give Matt an advantage in the wild, but his chauvinistic mindset and laconic attitude could cause communication problems with his partner. His initial primitive survival rating, or PSR, has been set at 6.6. .6. I'm 51 years old. I really want to inspire women or actually anybody that age and gender do not need to create boundaries in order for somebody to tackle a challenge like this. I'm making it 21 days. Karen is a suburban mom who brings excellent interpersonal skills, tenacity, and outstanding physical stamina into this challenge. But her need to be in control leaves her with a PSR of 6.3. So much for clothes. Here's to fulfilling a lifelong dream of surviving in the woods. Didn't know it would be naked. I've tried to envision the moment when I meet my partner naked, and yes, there's gonna be a bit of shock, but I think I'll get over it pretty quickly. Hi. Hey. It's so good to finally see you. Yes, you too. I'm Karen. I'm Matt. Good to see you. Good. When I first saw my partner, he was just shorter and smaller than I thought he would be. In addition to a shared machete, Karen and Matt have each brought one survival item. What did you bring? You go first. I brought a slingshot. You brought a slingshot? I haven't used one in a while, but it don't take me no time to get used to. I'm hoping that he's really good with the slingshot. It does take practice, so I hope he's as good as he thinks he can be. What did you bring? I brought the good old blast match fire starter. There's nothing wrong with that. Yes. We have a creek, a trail, monkeys. These macaque monkeys, you don't want to stare those things in the eye. You know, I'm not really afraid to look nobody in the eyes, you know. You ready to get going? Let's go. OK. First impressions of my partner, uh, not bad. I didn't realize her age. She don't look 51. Something liquid. It's pretty clean. I'm going to pick up some ammunition. Great. We have plenty of water. All right, slow going here. Ah, uh, these rocks are so hard on my feet. What about this flat little spot right here? We just need to find set of rooted trees, then we need to find longer pieces of wood. Uh, I'm not excited about no big bamboo being here. So we're sort of at a standstill. I mean, we can always move on, but no, we don't want to. I like to touch things once, if possible. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a palace. It just needs to be um, serviceable. Matt's not the best communicator I've ever met. I'm doing most of the talking here, so it's hard to know what he's thinking. You but know, I, I don't want to muss with this too much longer. I might have to go back down and get bamboo. I'd say we make a decision, you know, here in the next 20 minutes. When you're surviving, the worst thing you can do is make no decision at all. Karen's getting a bit bossy. Whatever, I was easy come, easy go, you know. Uh, I might have found a spot. We'll let you look at it. OK, I'll be there. Whew. All right, what are you thinking, buddy? We can take our sticks and lay them across. OK. Yeah, so you've got a natural platform. <laughs> trunk, 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 trunk. Is that No, what just you're two trunks. One here. I still don't get it. Sorry. And one here. OK, okay. then what, what are we laying Run on? Run it across. Then we're going to take bamboo and run them side by side. We have not made very much progress at all. Matt keeps talking about bamboo, but it's not mysteriously appearing for us. So we've got to get past it. I'm going to go see if I can find a piece of bamboo. How far are you going, Matt? Uh, not too, too far. I'm not feeling too great. I'm going to continue to work on this until he gets back and then probably switch gears. 
I may get high, it smells like freaking marijuana. <coughs> Got my bamboo here. I'm gonna put water in it, boil it. That way it's safe to drink. The streams aren't that clean. I got a fire going. I need to get some warm water inside of me. I'm gonna use a green bamboo as a pot. It's gonna resist the heat longer. That's gonna allow me to get a boil going. We can put this in our water and then we can make tea. And keep me fresh. Feel great. Now it's time to move out. Smells like smoke. Oh yeah, here, I'll bring you here. I need help, I can't do this all by myself. Yeah. I know you were doing great work over there. I'm bringing But I need help feeding it ASAP. I'm bringing steaks for right now. I know you were doing good work, but hurry up! I don't have a whole lot of energy right now. Hopefully we get a great night's sleep tonight. <clears throat> I'm starting to get a headache, so I'm really concerned about that. Either gonna puke or my head's gonna fall off. Uh, oh my god. I think I overdid it today. I just have a really, really bad headache right now. That is killing me. My head's killing me, my feet are killing me. This, the bed is terrible. I'm feeling maybe a little overwhelmed. If we don't get some carbs, fats, or protein, we're not gonna make 21 days. What are you thinking for today? I don't want food. And you still coming? coming? Every step hurts. Look at all the bananas! What? Oh! Bounty! Woo! They're awfully high. How are we gonna get them? Hand them in my shit. Okay, I got you. I figured my partner would be the one collecting fruit, but couldn't see a woman climbing a tree. I'm so proud of you. Well done. You won't break. They're fine. Okay, where are you at? Wait, well, yeah, I'm good. We got this whole entire thing of bananas for camp. It's so awesome. What are you feeling? My stomach hurts. Just depleted. Yep. We just need to take small bites of our day now. Get you. <laughs> Catch that. You got it. It's gone. Yeah, you're into a rock. That would have been really good. Seriously, that that would just that's the protein we need. We have had. Ultimately today. Or at least for me, I don't mean to be like not helpful, but I just need, I can't walk quite as much as I did yesterday because I walk too much and I really paid for it. So I just don't feel very well. Out here on my own, it'd probably be a little bit easier. You know, I wouldn't have to fend for two people. She's not doing nothing but going along for a free ride. I'm a little dizzy. Why does our water source have to be through rocks? I hate to keep mentioning a feet, but that's really what's top of mind right now. Can we get some bark so she can make some shoes out of a banana tree? Because I can't take her whining about her feet all the time. Is that the banana tree? Yep. shoes. He's a workhorse, no doubt. Absolutely amazing. This is the fastest I've moved in five days. Don't wear your shoes out too quick. I hear you. Now I just feel so happy I can go somewhere. Yeah. It's really, 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 really exciting! A big fat banana here, boy. If he'd be ripe, he'd be good. We've been surviving on the bananas. We've been drying them out, you know, eating them as dried fruit, and they've been pretty good. But I want some kind of meat protein to eat. I've heard wild chickens. I think I might have heard one here this morning. Okay, look at here, we got. What do you see? Fresh hole. Um, try not to touch that. Well, do you, we think we want to set a trap here? No. 
Not yeah. for the chicken. Yeah, I think we do. We'll, we'll roost them. Well, what? Chicken's gonna come up here at around 5.30. Yeah, so why don't we set a trap? Why well, set a trap when we can sling one of something at them like this? I guess I was sort of thinking of snaring, but setting a snare trap for the chicken tonight, like right now. Slingshot, that's the method I use. Hers seems like it's too many parts. I feel pretty confident that I can get something with the slingshot. Well, we're, we're at a standstill. I've been hunting birds my whole life. I think I know what I'm doing. I like to be controlling within the own facets of my life. But with Matt, there's no control to be had. He could respect me a little bit more in that regard. There's a bird up there. Uh, uh -uh. Rock's too heavy. Yeah, it is. Rock's too heavy. Bird's too far. Let's see where he went to now. I wanted the slingshot to work, but it didn't. So we'll go ahead and try Karen's idea instead. So we'll set the snare and go from there. Here we are, top of day seven. We are gonna get um, going and lay a snare trap. I'm really glad Matt came around and hopefully these snares will get us some food without wasting too much energy. And you can see the lasso here at the end. Something on your mind? Hopefully we'll catch our chicken. I smell something. What is that? All right, Kara. Here's the skunk hole. Skunks are a bit skittish. You can't really stalk them, so I'm setting this snare on this root. And when that skunk walks out, we'll get in it. Oh, my God. Here we are at the evening of day nine. We're running out of firewood, and we're really cold. At this point, I don't know if I can get through this. Morning 12, and I've uh, been awake since probably one or so. We've been cold all night. What you feeling like? I'm weak. Everything hurts. I know. Kind of like the flu. So I'm gonna try to drink some water, plenty of water, and uh, go ahead and pray about it. And hopefully I get better within the next day. Being a mom of two, you know, I've been through this with the kids. It can be a self-fulfilling prophecy if, if you're sort of spiraling downward and you're not feeling well. I sort of engaged him to tend the fire. This might be really wishful thinking. We smell skunk. The wind is coming from the direction of our skunk traps. So maybe he's in our trap. Nope. Nothing. Yeah, wait. No. Yes. No. What the f is that? Could it really be? Is that a skunk? Oh my god. It's all nestled up in a ball. Okay, it's still breathing. I don't want it to come and attack me, so I am going to stab it. Changer. Woo! As stinky as it might be, hopefully it'll push us forward over the next three days. Matt? Yeah. Come here. Oh, you got a vomit. You ready to do some handiwork? Hopefully this meat here will get me going. You know, at least for a couple days and then we'll have something. Is there a liver in there? Mm -hmm. So we doing it? I'd definitely eat another one. Yeah. Cooked it really well. Mm -hmm. Why you don't? This is actually good. Mm -mm. Yummy. Really good. Oh, this is definitely a boost of confidence. If you wouldn't have been here to kind of get me out of this slump, I would have been a bond. I'm very thankful of that. I feel better. Praise the Lord. Yeah, so happy. Yoo-hoo!
there. Missed him. Where? You see him? His tail is right there. I need to stab him in this bushes. Hurry. OK, I'm coming. I'm coming. I got his tail. Wait, is he going to break off? Or? I don't know. I'm not letting go. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I've got his head. Hit that knife with this rock. There, you're doing something. I think you, you did something. Pull your knife. Wiggle it. Head, I'm, about so. to, I'm about to whack his head off. Well, that woke me up. Matt, you did a fantastic job of, of seeing. I whacked. He, all luckily, you he did went in that he hole. Got it by that two inch tail. That's he's all luckily, you got. He's luckily he went in that hole. That's a dead end. That was unbelievable. I've never seen hunting skills like that before. He won't come through camp no more. Our lizard was phenomenal. I'd have to compare it, it'd have to be compared to filet mignon. And plus, I can't get comfortable. All my joints hurt, so. Just don't even know how I'm here at this point. This hike is gnarly. I mean, it's a straight uphill. Whenever you want to stop and break, tell me. I will. I can't even stand up straight. My heart rate's really high. I'm trying to plant my foot somewhere where I don't feel like a hot dagger is going through it. Well, you want me to stop? You got to tell me to stop. No, I mean. One step at a time, Karen. Yep. Short of breath. I'm just pulling at everything I've got to make that next step. Stop when you get here. Let's go, come on. All right. Don't stop. Here. Guess what? We done. We did. I've come to rely on letting it go and trying not to be in control because you cannot be in control in a constantly unfolding and unpredictable environment. So here I am, 51, and I did it. The biggest lesson I've learned out here, having a teammate like Karen is phenomenal. After a few days, I might have thought I could survive on myself, but I would rather tell you what kind of partner would be better than her. This woman here is stronger than most men I know. I'm a wife, uh, first morning home. I'm going to check on my animals and see what all my critters are doing now. Back to the normal daily life, which I love. I've had a pretty rough time since I've returned home. I've got some sores on my legs that won't let me forget our challenge. They should be healed in a couple weeks. But right now, you can take the girl out of the jungle, but the jungle is not coming out of the girl quite yet. Annyeong gaseo.